Me and dad were still trying to recover from our family separating. I went from living with both my parents, nine siblings, in a three bedroom apartment in Ida B. Wells projects, to just being me and dad. The year was 1977, 1978, and I was in my junior and senior years of high school. Dad now had to deal with this 16, 17 year old teenager that he now knew he had to be mother and father to. One of the things that dad had to get used to was that my friends, football, and girls had become the most important part of my life. But I went to school about an hour away in the Inglewood area. So that meant that playing sports left no time for me to work after school. That was a hard pill to swallow for my dad because he was old school, which meant that work was the foundation of being a man. But I needed to focus on my passion now, which was football. I came up with a deal that me and my dad agreed to in part. I promised dad that if he gave me enough money to get to school, that I would turn the sports and football into a football scholarship to go to college. So dad gave me enough money to get to school for three days a week. That meant that the other two days I was on my own. So those two days I had to be creative with going to school. I mean, I would wait outside of the train station and I would wait for the train to almost get to the ramp. And then I would time my jump over the turnstile, running at full speed to avoid being stopped by the train attendant. Then I would shoot into the door right before the door closed that, so that the attendant or that any security couldn't stop me from getting on the train. They got so used to me jumping over the turnstiles that they seemed to cheer me on as the time went on because they saw me jumping with my books in my hand and knew that I had to be going to school. So with this promise to my dad, that meant that every play on the football field was a debt that I was paying off to him. I needed to make plays and I needed to make schools and colleges interested in me so that I could make it to college. I was just one of thousands of kids across the country that wanted to make their dream come true by going to the next level. And college was that next level that I wanted to go to. That meant that I had to share my passion, my purpose, and my mission on the field on each and every play. I was desperate to make it to the next level. Now this story and many more are in my book, Silent Cry, Ray Deacon Me, The Key to Stopping the Violence. 